guys? It's your boy Clint with the Mobile Messiah back with some more Guardian Tales content. And it's time for us to do our second hero review on the channel featuring a force of nature. Without further ado, let's get it. Right, so it's time for our second hero review on the channel, and it's going to be the dreaded, dreaded Flower Girl Bari. Do you wish that you could just stand in one spot in the arena? and kill everyone in your sight? Do you wish that you could shoot a powerful nature beam at the ground about 10 yards away from your opponent and they get splash damage and die anyways? Are you one of those people that stand at the beginning of the match knowing that you're about to wreck your opponent so you don't even move and you just have your finger holding on the attack button for Bari and waiting for that bomb to trigger and end everyone's life? Well, that means you're probably a Bari user, just like myself. I also enjoy being OP and extremely powerful and pretty much taking over any game mode that I'm placed in because I am an absolute monster when used correctly. Yes, I am a Bari user. Bari is one of the most satisfyingly OP characters in the game simply because you feel the magnitude of the OP, okay? Literally, she does not even have to make direct contact with you. And you will die simply from the powerful waves of the energy that is total devastation that she's releasing from that flower basket, all right? All that damage done with just a couple of petunias, I have no clue what I'm talking about. Just like you have no clue how to beat Bari. Bari is an absolute monster, all right? Not only is she boasting one of the highest natural attack ratings in the game, if not the highest, but she is also the owner of one of the most shockingly OP kits in the game, especially when equipped with her exclusive weapon. Yes, if you have pulled Bari and you do not have May Real just yet, then you don't quite understand why I'm heaping these magnificent praises and lamenting the strength that Bari possesses at the same time, okay? In the arena, when I first started off, when I was a wee little guardian and I was just getting my feet wet and really not sure what I was doing, I kept going against one particular unit that essentially made me want to throw my phone into a bottomless pit, never to be seen again, and completely uninstall the game. But nonetheless, I persevered. I kept summoning, and then voila, a Marina and Bari banner appeared, and your boy had to indulge. So, the game blessed me with the flower girl Bari, and I have yet to look back since, all right? Bari is not only OP when it comes to attack, but her HP and defensive statistics are not scrubbed at all. They're not scrubbed out at all. In fact, they are right on par with the middle of the pack in the game. So with her attack being above average and her defense and HP being average, Bari is an absolute monster. She's not squishy. You can't kill her super, super fast. And in fact, if you're in a Coliseum and she's placed correctly, she will stand in the back and completely wreck your hopes and dreams. So have fun with that. But seriously though, guys, not only does she have a pretty good statistical kit, but when you five star her, she gains the ability to get a natural attack buff just on her basic attack. So that basic attack that was already OP, it gets even more OP because she gets a 30% attack buff over five seconds after having to recharge for her basic attack. So Bari is, is amazing. She's amazing. Not to mention when you get Mayril, and you get to use that chain skill and you just get the added advantages of having Mayril as a part of that kit, she's almost unstoppable in 1v1 situations. And in fact, I would argue unless you're fighting an extremely skilled pilot and you yourself are extremely terrible, she may be unstoppable in 1v1 situations until Vishuvac came into the game. Vishuvac at this moment is literally probably the only reliable counter to Bari as far as an average player could be using a Vishuvac against a pretty good Bari user and more times than not Vishuvac is going to absolutely wreck Bari all right so that's really 
the only hard counter to Bari. Yes, there are circumstances where you can actually outfire Bari if you have Tinia and you're getting that, that movement sp speed boost and you land that damage on her and you, and you just so happen to be avoiding that bomb somehow. I don't know how. I've done it a couple of times where that bomb actually didn't connect. Very, very lucky, but it's very possible, guys. So don't lose hope. Just get good. Stats, skills aside, she's also useful literally in every single game mode. Now, I know a lot of you are ready to, no, she's not. She sucks at PvE. You are not using her correctly. If you are in control of Bari and you have a real tank on your team, someone is going to take the focus off of your Bari and you're able literally just to kind of strafe around the perimeter of the battlefield and lay out bombs, she not only takes out enemies in one hit more times than not, but she's gonna take out groups of enemies in one hit more times than not. She is something serious in PvE. I'm not sure why people feel like she really sucks in PvE because she absolutely does not. In fact, she is helping me work my way through the elemental mirror rift in the water dungeon right now as we speak, all right? So Bari is useful in PvE. Don't let anyone tell you she's not. If you have Mayril, I highly suggest Bari is a must use. She's a must use unit in your four person team because you just really won't. She has rare attack power. She has rare attack power for the characters currently available in the game. And I just really don't recommend skipping out on her. We all know what she does to people in the arena. I, I got the highlight reel going. Literally, I use her as the finisher. If, she, if people get past my marina and my tinny, I'm still working on marina, she's still a little squishy. But if people get past them, Bari is just there to drop the nukes on them. And, and, and by that point, people already know what's up. They know what's up. When they see Bari at the end, they're like, God dang it, I don't have enough health left for this. So when placed properly in the arena, she is the ultimate equalizer, guys. The, the ultimate equalizer. In the Coliseum, she is also a monster. She's currently in the majority of the top tier teams in both the KR servers and the NA servers. So, I mean, Mari's that girl. She's just that girl. So, as far as a rating goes, if you have her with Mayreal, I have to give her a 10 out of 10 right now. Bari has to get a 10 out of 10 because she's just literally, there's no real weakness to her outside of Vishuvac, which that's just to keep the balance in the game. So I can appreciate that. But let me know what you rate Bari down below and tell me your funniest Bari experience in the comments. Should be an interesting read. As always, I do this for the Wolfpack. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. We out.